That's it. I'm done. I'm finished. I'm hanging up my hat. I'm riding into the sunset. I am calling it quits. You know, you got to know when to fold them. You got to know when to hold them and it's time to fold them. What's going on guys? Carter here with Edged Mindset. Now I know what you're thinking. What in the name of clickbait is this nonsense? Uh, what have I stumbled into? What kind of an a-hole makes a statement like they're quitting and they're done? Surely he's joking. He can't possibly be serious. And, you know, to be honest, full transparency, uh, yes and no. Uh, it is true. I am closing a chapter on this particular channel. Um, it's going to mean some changes for myself and for the channel. And I think, I, I don't know exactly what all of them are. Um, I'm going to have to figure them out as we move along. And I also don't know to what degree these changes are going to occur, or how long they're going to take, or, or what the future may hold. But I just wanted to give an update on where I am in terms of the channel and give a little bit of history on how I ended up here and what's been going on over the last couple of years um, as far as the channel is concerned. So am I quitting YouTube altogether? Am I ceasing uploading any videos at all? Probably not. Probably not. I will continue to make content about knives. I will continue to talk about things. I will continue to show knives, but it's going to be different. Uh, it's going to be back to more of a hobby channel. It's going to be back to me talking about the knives I want to talk about. And yes, that probably means uh, microtech video after microtech video, because that's what I'm into. So you're just going to see unboxing after unboxing or comparison between two knives that nobody really asked for, but I felt like talking about it. So I'm going to compare those two knives. Uh, that's what we're going to get back to. It's also going to get, be getting back to less um, oddball stuff, less random knives like this Kunwu Django here, which is a great knife by the way, but just not something that I would inherently pick out for my own collection, my own collection. I specifically bought this because I knew Kunwu was pretty popular and it represented a part of the knife community that I hadn't really represented too much in the past. And so I wanted to include it. So where is this, where's all this coming from to, to get the answer to that? We got to step back in time, back to like when I started the channel in 2000, I don't know, 11 or 12, right? I saw people making knife content. I like knives. I thought, Hey, I can talk in front of a camera. So I started doing it, and when I started doing it, it was very much a hobby thing, right? I did it for the sake of doing it. I enjoyed doing it. I didn't pay much attention to performance and stats and numbers and data and how to improve. I didn't invest in the channel. I didn't buy nice lighting. I didn't buy nice cameras or microphones because I was kind of saying, well, I'm just doing it for fun, right? Now, part of it was I was stingy, and I wanted that money for more knives, but the other part of it was I was scared of failure, you know, honestly, because I knew if I actually tried and failed with the channel, it was failure. But if I had the juvenile response of, well, I wasn't trying to be successful, I was just doing it for fun. So therefore, I didn't fail because I wasn't trying, you know, that that whole dumb thing is kind of what I subscribe to, uh, which, you know, I only cheated myself because I could have made a lot of improvements and I, I could have gotten a lot farther had I employed even some basic attempts at improving my content early on. Needless to say, I continued on like that for years and years. I would disappear for extended periods of time. I would come back. I would completely change up the genre of the channel. I would do pew pews exclusively for a while, then disappear, come back, do swords, lightsabers. I did lightsabers for a brief period of time, disappear, come back, do knives, disappear, come back all over the place, right? So really kind of muddling up my channel. Uh, but once again, all under the guise of I wasn't really trying to be successful. Well, about a year and a half ago, year, year and a half, maybe you could even say two years ago, I kind of decided, hey, you're getting older. Um, do you really want to continue on this way forever without really giving it a shot? You know, wouldn't it be cool if you could really, really try and potentially be successful at this channel? Now, what does success mean? I never had a, a completely solid definition of that. It was more, um, I would say, continued growth. Right, being able to see my subscriber base, uh, my engagements, comments, things like that, my stats going up monetarily, just seeing that follow suit, continue to grow, with the end result being turning this channel into a legitimate side hustle. You know, making enough money 
that it was considered like a separate part-time job or something. Not necessarily funding all my knives. My knives are very expensive, but I never really, you know, the way I look at knives is uh, more of a, a stored value thing, right? Like this isn't sunk cost. This money's not gone. These are worth something. And so the idea of a, a YouTube channel funding my entire knife collection wasn't really something I thought would be possible, but just something that would help offset the cost and more importantly, make it seem like the time I was putting in uh, was worth it from a monetary standpoint. So that was the goal. That was the goal. And I tried like hell. I gave myself six months and I said, hey, uh, do everything you can. Look up all the tips and tricks, edit, thumbnails, clickbait, feature knives like this uh, from Kaiser that you normally wouldn't feature, uh, like the Kunwu, like Romet, uh, like <laughs> even most recently, Cobra Tech, you know, knives that people that traditionally subscribed to my channel weren't really being re represented by with this channel, right? Because historically, I would feature very mid to high level knives, usually within a small group of brands. Uh, most of them like old brands, right? Like Emerson and Strider and Microtech and Hinderer and things like that. So I wanted to broaden that so that more people could be interested in my channel. I experimented with more action type videos. I experimented with some comedy. I experimented with kind of some use videos, really kind of trying a bunch of different things to say, can I, can I strike a little bit of gold here and uh, grow my channel and, and expand and, and hit a niche and things like that. There were times where it looked like it might work. You know, I had these little pockets where things were kind of booming and I was pulling in a lot of subscribers and more importantly, just the comments. It was so cool to wake up and have dozens and dozens of comments across my videos that I could reply to and read and respond to and things. Uh, but then undoubtedly it would just stop. It would fall off a cliff and it felt like I was back to square one and my views would tank and the comments would tank. I'd wake up and only have like six comments across all my videos. Um, and it was very depressing and, and it was hard to deal with, but I, I continued on and then maybe I'd hit another little pocket that seemed promising and then that would stop. And so then I said, well, I need more than six months. I gave myself six months. I need more than six months. So I expanded it to a year. Same thing happened again. That year became a year and a half. And eventually I had to kind of say, this isn't working. I gave it a shot. I gave it my best shot. I tried like hell. I tried my hardest. I just failed to connect to a larger audience. You know, which is fine. It's fine because I got you guys and you guys are awesome. And not everybody is meant for everybody. You know, I gave it a shot. I wanted to see if I could appeal to uh, more people and it, it just didn't work out. I'm too much of a weirdo. The way I think of things, the things that I like about knives, the knives that I gravitate towards, it just doesn't connect with everybody. It doesn't connect to the broader audience. And I, I tried to force myself to get into things that I didn't truly love because I knew other people did. And it wasn't authentic and I didn't enjoy it. And so I just got to stop. But the the thing is, the takeaway is, you guys are awesome and I appreciate every comment, every like, every video response, everything you guys do. Um, it's the only reason I continue to do any kind of content across any sort of knives. Um, so by no means am I saying that I don't appreciate that. In fact, it's the opposite. You guys um, are what keep me going. Um, all the people that the regulars that that interact with me, it's it's so awesome and such a beautiful thing. And I absolutely love it. And I appreciate every one of you. Um, I just wanted to see if maybe I could be one of those big knife channels, you know, give it a shot. And I had the time things were set up for it. And I knew if I didn't at least try, I would regret it. And I would say, well, maybe I could have made that work. But I gave it my best shot didn't work out. So now I got to reset reevaluate. And I think it's going to be kind of going back to a lower key less uploads, less diversity in content. Um, but I don't see myself completely stopping. I mean, it's hard to say, but um, I, I don't see myself completely stopping. I see myself making more content. It's just not going to be as frequent and it's probably going to be kind of lower in scope in terms of the brands and the things I, I talk about. And uh, maybe a little more yappy yappy videos because I'm just I'm not going to be able to afford to get the knives in like I used to be able to uh, just due to some personal life things as well as just trying to be more responsible. Um, because let's be honest, I was man, the amount of inventory I was getting in was unsustainable. 
Um, I knew it was unsustainable, but I felt like, you know, if I could just get it to help facilitate this channel taking off, it might be worth it. And it didn't work out that way. So kind of got to go back to a more practical knife channel where I'm not as crazy with the amount of stuff I'm getting and uh, a little more selective, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. I'm giving up on trying to be a knife tuber. I'm not going to compete in that. Not that I was ever really competing, but the goal was to compete in that echelon of the big boys and didn't work out. Not everybody can be a big knife channel or a big YouTuber. Uh, it is what it is. I gave it a shot. Thank all of you for all the support you've given me over all these years, both through the videos, as well as personal messages and emails and things like that. And phone calls, um, absolutely from the bottom of my heart thanks everybody until the next video uh which there will be more videos i am out take care